Hello guys, welcome back to Code Santa. I have a question for you. How many of you have kept your social media passwords with something related to you? In simple words, do your password contains your name, date of birth, or your phone number, or your parents name, or a combination of any of these? Or some of us are born genius, they will keep passwords as 1234567 password admin etc. Do you have same passwords for all your social media handles? If your answer is yes to any of these questions, then you are 100% vulnerable. It hardly takes two hours to crack your passwords. Let me tell you a short story. One day, I was tired and simply scrolling my Instagram feed. Few minutes later, I came across an ID of a complete stranger, which means I don't even know his name. Since I was bored, I thought of testing how vulnerable the account is. I challenged myself just to see how far I can go. Firstly, I found his name looking at his profile. Let's say his name is John Cena. Then looking at his bio, I found his date of birth. He had written something like, first try on March 7, wish me on July 8, etc. Something like that. Let's say his date of birth is July 8. Then I looked at his profile picture. He seems so young that his age must be around 17 to 20. Now I have his name, his username, his date of birth and his age. I started to guess the password by trying different combinations of this information I have. Like John Cena, John Cena 2000, Cena 2001, John 2000, 87 2000, etc. Believe me, I was able to log into his account with just two attempts. His password is something like John 2001. That's when I realized how vulnerable we are. Of course, I did this just for fun and didn't make any harm or misuse this account. And I am not encouraging these activities. Okay, in this video, I am going to give you a demo on how to brute force any login page. So what is brute force at the first place? Let me give you a simple example. Do you remember your social media passwords? Obviously, 90% of the people watching this video would have forgotten their passwords. So what will you do in case you forget your password? Firstly, you will try different passwords, right? For example, if you forget your PIN number, you will try different combinations like 1234, 5678, 9231, etc. Right? That's exactly what brute force is. Brute force is nothing but doing something repeatedly till you reach the solution. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to brute force any login page programmatically. Without further ado, let's get started. Disclaimer. This video is purely for educational purpose only. I am not responsible for any actions done by you. Do you want to be among the 99% of the people or among the wisest 1%? If your answer is that 1%, consider subscribing to Code Santa now. I talk about programming, hacking, app development, web development and various other technologies. I will also be discussing about business, entrepreneurship, marketing strategies, financial freedom, investing, how to make money online, etc. Now I am navigating to demo.testifier.net in Mozilla Firefox. This site is open for testing, which means we have the permission to test this site. Let's go to online banking login. Here we already know the username, which is admin. We have to find the password. Now right click and click on inspect. Move to network tab. Now type something in the password box and click on login. You can see a post request is made. Right click and choose edit and recent. Copy this URL. Now let's start writing a python script. Paste the URL here. Now in the request headers, copy the user agent. Next, copy everything in the request body and convert it into a key value pass. Now, I have collected a list of some of the commonly used passwords. The concept is simple. If we enter a wrong password, we are directed to the same page. In case of correct password, we are directed to some other page. Let's build this logic. Okay. 
it. Now this program is complete. It is automatically trying different passwords from the list. Ah, you see, it says the correct password is admin. Let's try this. Voila, we have found the password. Remember, using the same technique, you can't find passwords of any sites you want. Popular sites like Instagram, Facebook are heavily secured that you need some complex algorithms to find those passwords. And most importantly, this is for educational purpose only. I am not responsible for any actions done by you. Now, how to prevent yourself from these attacks? Simple. Keep your passwords secure. Avoid keeping generic passwords like 123456, password, admin, etc. Because it just takes a fraction of a second to crack them. Then avoid keeping passwords like John 2001, John Cena 2000, Cena 1976, etc. Don't keep anything related to you. Instead, keep a long password. It don't have to be a complex one. A simple long sentence like these passwords is quite secure. Enable two-factor authentication. By this, every time you log in, you will receive an OTP to enter your account. So, if someone manages to find your password, then it's of no use. Avoid keeping same passwords for all your accounts. That's it guys. If you find this video useful, do like this video, subscribe to Coach Santa and share this video as much as possible. It can be very much useful for some of your friends. If you want more videos like this, do let me know in the comment section. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram.